Let's turn to foreign policy and back to the thesis of your book. Um, you know, there are many analysts writing about the fact that, uh, or, or questioning whether or not American power is declining around the world, of course, given the rise of India, China, and of course, the rise of private companies, as you say in your book. Uh, what is your sense of, of American power in the world? Do you think uh, it is declining or um, under President, not under President Obama, but do you, do you see the rise of these other powers sort of um, constraining you know, U.S. influence? Look, I think there's a shift. The United States has more financial problems at home. The United States has an impulse to turn inward anyway. Um, and therefore, the United States might be a little and, and more constrained. It also lacks the political will to go in as it did in a place like Iraq. And if you lack the will, um, it, you lose a certain degree of your influence. Uh, China, India, Brazil, uh, they have gained in power uh, because their economic growth, as have other emerging powers of Turkey, particularly in the context of the Middle East. Indonesia is growing in terms of its influence. So, you know, there's a, there's a relative shift. But it's a long way from that statement of fact to some of the assertions that you hear about, where people talk about a G0 world and the U.S. isn't leading anymore and other people are overtaking us and we're an irrelevant player. There isn't a major issue that happens in the world today where people don't say, what is the U.S. going to do? The U.S. still has the biggest military in the world, spends more on defense than every other major country in the world added up. Uh, still has the largest share in international financial institutions, still has by far the biggest economy in the world, and frankly, in some respects, is stronger than it's ever been. The United States is on the verge of being you know, an energy exporter of significant size. We are much more independent in terms of energy production than we've been at any time in, in our recent history. Um, our allies in Europe are getting their act together in terms of the EU, I think there's going to be a period of recession for a number of years, but the EU itself is appearing stronger. Our allies in Japan are slowly coming out of their recession. Capitalism and democracy are catching on around the world. I wouldn't say that the United States is uh, seeing its influence diminish. 